Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. We're back here in one of my favorite filming spot locations because guess what? We have a minivan. Yes, I said that word that nobody wants to hear. A minivan with some extra sport to it. What do I got? This is a 2023 Toyota Sienna XSE trim. But before we get into this sporty styled minivan, let's talk about what's going on here. So the minivan, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, was humongous in its popularity in the 1980s. It was all Lee Iacocca, the brainchild behind the idea, who brought it to the Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge products. Now, Chrysler still has the Pacifica, but other brands came and went with their own minivan. One that stuck around is the Sienna. Now, the Sienna, just a few years ago when the pandemic was happening in full force, they came out with a full redesign. I've already brought you the limited trim, the XL trim, the this trim, the that trim. This is Toyota's way of trying to bring some sportiness and style to the Sienna. And that's what the XSE trim is all about. Now, of course, we have other key players like Kia. They got rid of their Sedona and they brought in the Carnival. And of course, we still have the Honda Odyssey. So what I want to find out is if you're looking for the best, just the best new vehicle period for you and your family's needs, are you ready to accept and embrace and just wrap your arms around the minivan or are you better off going with another SUV? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our cement. I absolutely love this color. One of my favorite Toyota colors, Cement Sienna XSE, and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It's interesting how just a color and some larger wheels really kind of make the Sienna look cool. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna get LED lighting, and that goes without saying. So you have your LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and LED turn signals. Now, if you're comparing this to the other existing Japanese minivan, that would be the Honda Odyssey. Honda Odyssey does not have full LED lighting. They do have some of the old fashioned light bulbs. Now, working your way down, I like on the XSE trim, you have this very aggressive lower corner area that extends out. My zonk is that it's a fake vent. Why did they not make this a little functional is beyond me. But definitely, if you're going from a look standpoint, that adds some aggressive style. Yes, aggressive. I never thought I would say that word and minivan in the same sentence, aggressive style to this minivan. Now on the lower portion, you are getting LED fog lamps, super small on the bottom, some gloss black, and you're actually getting a front splitter. Now I'm sure if we take this to Sebring or Daytona or Homestead, uh, Miami-Dade, Homestead Raceway, this might give us a little downforce, but I don't really think it's there for downforce. I think it's there, obviously, for more sporty style. Now, when we come across the front end, you have that Toyota badge, nice top dead center with the blue, which means that this is a hybrid. One thing that's unique about the Sienna compared to the Pacifica, compared to the Odyssey, compared to the Carnival, is that it comes standard hybrid. That's the only way you could get it. Your other choice is do you want all wheel drive or not? This one is front wheel drive, hybrid. That's how it comes standard. And like I said, it's the XSE trim. So what do we have? This massive, large open mouth grill, gloss black, looking good. You can see the cement color on that extension with that front lip splitter across the bottom portion, but definitely gives it that wide look that a lot of people find appealing when it comes to any vehicle, let alone a minivan. Now, when we rise up, hood is gonna be the same exact hood, no matter if you go XSE, Limited, Platinum, any of those. You just have a little bit of this brushed aluminum silver, which looks classy as it runs along the top of the headlight housing. And then everything else is gonna just kind of fold nicely, like you fold a napkin and it goes all the way to the edge of the a pillar there. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? For the first time ever on a Sienna, we have 20 inch wheels. Love the nice dark gum metal gray finish. 
You got some of this texturized look to it just to give it a little extra something something. They are wrapped with Michelin Primacy tires. Those are tires meant to give you a little bit better range. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the rubber wrapped around this 20 inch wheel? 235 on the width, 50 series sidewall. And I'm so glad, no flat black. You just have cement painted everywhere on the side fender. Now, when we come down the rest of the vehicle, you are getting gloss black on the mirror caps. No 360 degree, uh, 360 degree cameras on the Sporty XSE trim. You can see the overall dimensions of the vehicle. And then up top, you do have some bright, shiny metalwork trim that actually extends all the way down to the A-pillar. And you do have a little bit of shiny, bright metalwork on the door handles. I'm gonna zonk that. The reason why, this is an XSE Sporty trim. I wanna see dark, black chrome, or even gloss black trim up top and on the door handles. Now along the bottom, I love the way that they have that side sill extension with the gloss black. Do you see this little insignia there? That means that you have keyless entry and no, hands-free entry to get into the side door. So let's say you have your, your triplets are in your arms. You just take your foot, swipe it underneath, and that door will open up if you have the key fob in your pocket. Speaking of doors, of course, we have two power sliding doors on both sides. I like the way the roof rack does not run the full length of the roof. And up there, we do have a sunroof. You have your crossbars, and it is a raised roof rail, which is really nice. But you can see how they blended in the track for the door to slide across. And then really where it gets me in the good spot is down here. I really love the way it's got a nice flared section. There's a little bit of bird crap here. Let me scrape that off. Ugh. A little bit of flared section into the rear fender. And then as we go all the way around the back, just like we started off, it actually finishes off pretty freaking good. So you have your LED lighting. There's that little light bulb there that I have to zonk. That should be LED as well for the turn signal. Pretty good long roof spoiler. You do have the wiper exposed. You know me, I would like to hide it underneath, but all the other minivans have it exposed as, exposed as well. XSE Hybrid, would have been nice to have some blacked out badging. They did do the Sienna nice. See how when you have the blacked out badging and you say sporty in the same sentence, it just looks a lot better. And then working your way all the way down, they definitely went aggressive with this lower bumper area. I am gonna zonk it though. I don't need the fake vent. If they would have just made this gloss black, I think it would still look sporty, still look good, just not look fake. I'm all about not looking fake. So definitely want to zonk that. But other than that, from front to back, it's got the dimensions. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's powering our Sienna. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. As far as I can remember, I think all of them come with a prop rod. Maybe the Carnival and maybe the Pacifica have hood struts. Let me know if you know down in the comment section, but I'm not going to zonk it because it's out of the way and it gives Steven a lot of accessibility to show off what's underneath the hood. So what do we got? Standard 2.5 liter inline four with two electric motors to produce 245 horsepower, zero to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds. The vehicle weighs 4,500 pounds. Remember this number. 36, because guess what? It's 36 MPGs in the city, 36 MPGs on the highway, and 36 MPGs combined. So definitely bring in some fuel economy. I know a lot of people were hoping for more, but if you look at Honda with the Odyssey, that still uses a naturally aspirated V6. Carnival, same story. Pacifica does have hybrid and plug-in hybrid technology. The other bit of news is that hood is flapping in the Florida wind. We got a hurricane that's approaching us. No, thank God we don't. It's just windy today. But another thing I want to point out, which kind of seems like a no-brainer, $760 for all-wheel drive. This one does not have it. My recommendation, spend the $760, get yourself the all-wheel drive, no matter where you live. I think it's gonna be something that comes in hand, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and see the Sienna Sport roll.
All right, guys, we're inside this cool minivan. Never thought I'd say that word uh, with minivan, cool, that adjective. But anyways, sitting here, I know you're probably watching and saying to yourself, well, Joe, I think I'm ready to take the plunge. I've resisted. I made a promise to myself when I was a small boy that I would never drive a minivan. I'm very excited about this Sienna XSE especially because my wife and I want to have 10 kids and we need somewhere to put them. How much is it? Very good question. This being an XSE with the options that it has is going to be $47,810. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I like the clean style. You have that light gray that matches the cement color pretty well on the outside. Some orange stitching goes a long way. Soft touch. Look at around the switch gear. The way that they did that cool pinstripe technique, they actually got that idea from bowling alley lanes. When you go bowling next time, inspect it. It looks just like that. You do have your Toyota certified double stack Twinkie holder. So you could actually hold four Twinkies in that slot in the center. Down below the door pocket's a little tight. So maybe one big Buford from Checkers, a small Checker fry, and a Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, there's more of that cohesive orange stitching, soft touch material. We do have the JBL sound system. And then you'll notice how we have more rooms and more space for Twinkies. So you could now put another five Twinkies, nice soft touch material with the stitching, slide on in, what do we have? We have the upgraded infotainment system. It's a nine inch. My one zonk is that it's not the new multimedia. So this is the older multimedia system. It works well, it's just not as sexy and as intuitive as Toyota's new multimedia system. Of course, we throw it in reverse, Backup camera takes up all nine inches, and you do have the trajectory lines. My only zonk is, is that it's not super clear. I would like a little better resolution. Put it back into park, and then here we are. We got our dual climate control, nice toggle switches, easy to figure out. We do have three stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats, and that's a zonk at $47,000. Down below, you do get wireless charging, you have a unique shaped cup holder. This is for like a juice box. And then you have a place where you could put, I would say three York peppermint patties. We have our electric shifter for our eCVT. That's the transmission that comes with this. You do have your drive modes and EV mode. Down below is where it's really happening. You got a 12 volt, and you have enough room here, as you look throughout this whole area, you could actually put two footballs, one signed by Tom Brady and the other one by uh, Joe Namath. And you could have those two balls down here that you could play with at any time. Now, if you have more than two drinks, I'll show you what to do in a second. We have our Toyota key fob. We, I like the way you could open up the doors by the press of a button. Peekaboo, I see you, two more cup holders and a place to put a package of Reese's peanut butter cups. Nice soft material. This stays, but this opens. Voila, USB-A, USB-C, no felt lining in there. So if you put the, your Fabergé egg that your family brought over from Germany a long time ago, it's gonna get scratched in here. So my advice, don't put the Fabergé egg in here. Don't even put real eggs in here. It's, it's gonna get smelly real quick, but you have enough room. I tell you, when I was a kid, one thing I used to love to freaking look for when we would go out on my dad's boat is conch shells. You could put one conch shell in there. Just make sure there's no snail in it. Don't ask me how I know that. Seats, soft text, the orange stitching. I love the way they did this grippy material. Decent bolstering. You do have power assist for the passenger power assist for the driver, and we do have a standard size sunroof. Now, before you go boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo, where's my panoramic sunroof? There's a reason why this does not have a panoramic sunroof, but I will have to show you when we get to the mid-row. But why don't you come over here? I'm not ready for mid-row. I don't care what you want. Come over here. I want to show you behind the business end 
of the Sienna XSE. All right, guys, behind the business end, I do like the way this one has the optional Sienna nameplate, nice aluminum finish with the blue. And then another thing you'll notice is look how low the door entry is. I think this is one of the things that people don't take into consideration. You get a big old SUV, you kind of have to climb into it, it's tight. This is so easy to get in and out. It's really just a piece of cake. Now, you have your seat controls, well within fingertip reach. Adjust that lower lumbar, especially when the kids are making you want to pull your hair out. Like I said, lots of space in here. And then because this is an XSE, you're getting the sporty steering wheel. Two-piece leather, like the way they did the orange stitching all the way around. Little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. One thing I can't stand are Toyota's horn buttons. This one especially, nothing attractive about it. So I am going to have to zonk it, but you do have flat black on all the switch gear. We have a little tiny tray here where you could put a Snickers. So when you're about to get hangry and lose your crap, have a Snickers. And then of course, display. We have a small 4.5 inch digital display, which you could scroll through a plethora of information. And then we have our analog power gauge and speedometer and coolant gauge does the job. Another thing that this does not have is the upgraded Toyota sensing technology. This is 2.0. Now they're like up to 3.0. So you're still getting a lot though. Blind spot, spot monitoring, the lane keep assist. There's just something new called traffic jam assist, which is really cool, but you can't get it on this vehicle. Not at least right now. But let's go ahead, let's get to the mid row and see if the minivan is the best vehicle for you. Let's get back there and check it out. All right, guys, we're inside the Sienna. Just wanted to show how that power door opens up. Of course, you also have full power dropping side windows as well, which is a really nice comfort. Now, sitting here, so much room. And if you need more, <laughs> you ask, I shall give. Watch this. All the way back. Now, hopefully there's nobody sitting back there because you probably break their legs. But maybe if you don't like them, or if they've done you wrong, this is where you can break their legs. You don't need a baseball bat, you just, boom, just break their legs that way. But look at all this leg room. I mean, I'm six feet tall and I can stretch out real easy. Do that in your uh, Grand Highlander. I know a lot of you are excited about the Grand Highlander. You're not doing this in the Grand, Grand Highlander, that's for sure. Now, you have your soft text material all the way around. We have, of course, for the people in the mid row, the wireless headset. And what is the wireless headset for? You have an over 11 inch entertainment center back here. This is why you don't have a panoramic sunroof because this just folds away. You wanna entertain the kids, pull it down. Also have your dual climate control, but wait, there's more. In the back here, you do have two USBs, a USB-A and a USB, well, I should put it this way, USB-A, USB-C, plus a cord, smart, a cord, little holder thing. You wrap your cord around when you're charging. Down below, you do have a home power source and your HDMI and a place for two Twinkies, two drink holders. And then, like I said, very, very comfortable here. This almost makes me laugh. Actually, it did make me laugh. These captain's chair armrests are not really armrests. These, these, they're just, I mean, whose arm is the width of this? Hold your hand up because I would like to, I probably wouldn't even see you hold up your, your hand because I wouldn't see your arm. I would just see a floating hand. I'm going to have to zonk how wide that is. It's, it needs to be wider. Plus, oh, look at that. I caught it. You have this remote for the entertainment system. So that is a very nice touch as well. The kids could be occupied and entertained. They don't know how we had it back in the day. My mom had a nine passenger minivan. And the coolest thing about, excuse me, a nine passenger station wagon, the coolest thing about that was sitting in the back seat, which was backwards, so you can make faces at all the drivers. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that third row and see how it stacks up to the competition in this Sienna. All right, guys, here we are. Third row time, and you can see just how easy it is to get in and out from the lower floor, nice and flat. I have all my connectivity, which I'll show you when we go through the backside through the cargo area, but USB-A, USB-C, two cup holders back here, AC vents. And here's the, the big news is that it's not just for family people. If you have a band, 
this would be a great vehicle to go to all your little concert tour destinations because you could haul all the equipment back here or Stephen Flood, our very own Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography is looking for the ultimate photography vehicle. He's thinking that this might be a rolling black room, a dark room, rolling dark room for photography. We'll have to see if that plays out for him, but seats are comfy. My knees are a little high, but I mean, look, you just do this. And here I am sitting comfortable. Plus I could see the TV, the video monitor, but why don't we go ahead, let's get into the cargo area and see how this stacks up against the rest in the Sienna. All right guys, here we are in the cargo area of the minivan. And that's one thing that you just can't do in an SUV is have this usable space, but I'm gonna kinda climb out without hurting myself here. And you can see just how low the cargo floor is. And this would be perfect. I wish that it was all plastic because this would be cool to have an actual cooler built into this back area. But what would be great is, is you get your two big igloos back here and you're covered when it comes to room. Now, you'll notice some extra space over here. There is an optional vacuum cleaner where you could roll up the vacuum hose. But if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much room do we have back here? Because it looks like a ton, especially after fitting you. Well, basically you're looking at, with the row up, you're looking at 33.5 cubic feet of space. If we fold all the rows down, it goes up to 101 cubic feet of space. Now, before I fold anything down, let me just showcase that we do have a home power source that is really nice right on the passenger side. And then to fold the seats down, it's a little cumbersome, but it, it works. So basically what you're gonna do is you pull on the tethers, that's gonna lay it down. So let's say if you had something kinda big that you had to put up there or something that you had to fold, but if you need to get them in this lower section, all you're gonna do is pull and push down. Pull and push down. Now we have full access to the mid row and then of course the mid row can fold down but i want to show you some of the things going on that i tried to show you when i was sitting in the third row here so you do have a volume knob and a place to plug in your headphones for the passenger on the driver's side the two cup holders but it's the passenger on the passenger side in the third row that gets all the goodies they got a usb a usb c and you also have of course your plug-in for your headphones and you have your rear AC up top and you'll notice that ma massive entertainment screen, which is a nice extra touch in the rear area. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and find all my nieces and nephews. I'm the oldest of six kids. Many of my brothers and sisters have multiple kids. I'm gonna go round them up and we're gonna stuff them and see how far we could drive them without them complaining in the Sienna. Let's go do it. All right, guys, we are inside the 2023 Toyota Sienna XSE. Right away, visibility is magnificent in here. All of the places that you're touching feel good and everything is located exactly where you think it should be. Getting to the nine inch infotainment system is well within reach. I do have it in sport mode. You got your different modes, sport, eco, and of course normal but we're going to go on throttle i'm going to slow down here and we're going to go on throttle in a second on throttle here we go so not the fastest but also not the slowest so that's good news it does have the ecvt which is not the most invigorating to drive but it's going to help you maximize your fuel economy that's for sure but when you're in sport mode, that's gonna adjust the steering, the throttle sensitivity, everything else super smooth in here. And I think that's one of the things you're gonna love is just how smooth the Sienna cruises down the road, even with the 20 inch wheels. Don't worry about the ride being harsh. It really is not. I wish that it did have the updated multimedia system, but still, like I said, has all the functions that you have that you want and the dual climate control. I just think at $47,000, we need some ventilated seats in here. 
but love the way you have that bridge system to the center console. Lots of room for the passengers, more than you're going to get in any of the other SUVs. It's just that if you want maximum passenger and cargo room and you're going minivan, the Sienna falls up a little short compared to the Odyssey, the Pacifica, and the Carnival. Hey guys, we're gonna get out on the highway here and see how the Sienna cruises down the road. But really, really digging just how nice and how this vehicle just allows you to do everything. It, it has the capacity for everything in your life, especially when it comes to hauling the family around. I do wish it had a digital gauge cluster at $47,000. That's something that I think needs to be there. So that definitely is a zonk. But the way that you're able to glance down very quickly and get the whole kit and caboodle of what information that you need and what information that you're looking for not a lot of road noise, a little bit of wind noise is surprising me, especially through the corners of the windows where the weather stripping is, but you got the JBL sound system upgraded in this particular XSE. I know a lot of people don't love the floating iPad style infotainment system, but it's well within reach, it's easy to see, and it does not block your view whatsoever. But being able to navigate down the road really allows you to feel confident and comfortable behind the wheel of the Sienna XSE. And with the color that we have, the cement color and those 20 inch wheels, it looks pretty darn fantastic. But going across the expansion joints, very, very smooth. That is definitely the key word in here. Seats are supportive and comfortable without being too squishy. And then at the end of the day, the, the visibility is just what's amazing in this vehicle. But you get up to speed nicely and you have that ability to really get some good MPGs especially over the competition that are just running naturally aspirated internal combustion engines. All right, let's see how this Sienna XSE handles. Toyota says they tune the suspension a little bit to give you a little bit sportier feedback, but actually not too bad. I mean, look at that, holds the line nicely. On oh, throttle, here we go. I mean, you do get that CVT drone, which I really don't love, but it has just enough horsepower to get out of its own way. I would like to see maybe a 50 horsepower increase, especially with the way that other vehicles perform at this price point, especially SUVs. But. Like I said, if you're looking for the maximum when it comes to MPGs, when it comes to having that usability versatility, but yet you don't want to drive something that's bland looking, this XSE Sienna really checks off a lot of the boxes. But we're going to get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a fun, sporty kind of day. So much so that I got to just, I don't know, pop my collar because we're with this sporty Sienna. Definitely want to thank the whole crew over at Toyota for getting us access. Finally, this is my first Sienna XSE that we've ever reviewed here on Radius Rise, but let me know what you think. Is this the right recipe? Are you okay with your manly hood and every other hood that you have going with a minivan over an SUV? Let me know down in that comment section especially over the Honda Odyssey. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. 
If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. Of course, we need to thank one guy that's strong with his manly hood. He wants to get a Sienna XSE. Who's that? Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like a champ. Show him some love in the comment section. Wish him some nice best luck and congrats for going after that Sienna XSE minivan for all of his photography needs. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.